So I'm just going to start off by congratulating you on Fuller House. Your project is so amazing. I love it personally. So can you tell Thank us you. about what it's been like to work on that show? Yeah, um, honestly, it's been, it's been like the most incredible experience of my life. I mean, that's not even, that's, not, that's, that's like an understatement because okay. I have had so many opportunities and so many like adventures, I think, and, and I, I've got gained like a second family, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're really, yeah. really, really close to me. I'm sure you've gotten this like a million times, but did you grow up watching this show or have you watched any of the episodes? I have, yes, actually, um, I watched Full House before I even knew Fuller House was a thing. I watched it on uh, <laughs> Nick at Night with, yeah. um, you know, Fresh Prince Bel-Air and Friends mm -hmm. and, and all those all those good shows. For yeah. sure. So what was the audition process like for the show? Were you expecting the lead, like the role? How was that for you? So, um, actually, I didn't even know it was Fuller House for about three auditions in because they kept the name a secret. Oh. Uh, but it was really... Um, it was really a, a like a grueling process, I think, because yeah. uh, I wasn't there in California to audition with the, like for them live. I actually I, I live in Florida, so I had to do um, self tape auditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's that? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I did about five self tape auditions in Florida before. No, sorry, three before I actually knew it was Fuller House, and then I did an extra two, and then they flew me out here. With their with their money and all that to, to do a final audition and I, I I got the part so I was very excited when I found out it was Fuller House. That's awesome. So it was all worth it for you. So what's it? It was all worth it for you then. All that work that you yes, did. Yeah, hundred percent. Very very worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh oh, and fun fact, I actually got that. Um, I actually got Fuller House in the week of my thirteenth birthday. So oh that yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. So what is a typical day like for you on set? Can you like describe what it's like for when you go on to when you go home? Um, you know, that's it's kind of a tough question to answer because each day is, is very different. Um, so so Tuesday we have rehearsal. We, we get our script. We um, camera block. We, we go through the scene as we would as if we were going to shoot it. And then um, after, we're, after we get through all the scenes, we, um, we do it in front of... Uh, the executives and the producers and the writers, and they, you know, see what worked and what didn't, what needs to be changed. And then Wednesday we have, um, we, we, we do the exact same thing, but this time, uh, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. We actually get a revised script, um, and then we rehearse all that new stuff. And then Warner Horizon and Netflix, they come in along with producers, and then they see, okay, this works, this doesn't, and you know, we we put on our clothes and we put we like we turn on the lights as if we were actually like shooting it. And then um, Thursday rolls around, we shoot all of the stuff, we we, we pre tape everything, and then Friday, a live audience actually comes in and we do the show as if it was like a play. So we do it from you know the first scene all the way till the end, uh, so the audience can like you know we can get their laugh, and uh, it, I think that's my favorite day we uh, we have a quiet entertainer and it's just a lot of fun a lot of energy in the room yeah so speaking of the fans have you had like a crazy like fan encounter or fan experience uh, oh man I actually uh, I, I feel like most of the fans are very very tame <laughs> <laughs> nothing 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 crazy yeah uh, I've had a few times I've had a few people like cry oh. in, in my arm I, I've had a few people um I don't know. I, it, I, for the most part, it's just very chill. Like they, they, they respect me, and, and you know, I, it, it, it's a lot of fun existing and making people's day. You know, just like walking around, and then someone is like, "Oh my gosh, it's Jackson and like, You know, their day is made. Yeah, for sure. That's always good. So, what's something that most fans wouldn't know about the show, or like a behind-the-scenes secret you could share with us? Hmm. Uh, actually, I have two. Is that, is that okay? That's perfect. Okay, cool. So, um, one of them, there are a little thing that we like to do. Anytime we have um, a guest come on the show, or, you know, anyone for that matter, we have this giant, this giant wooden uh, wall, and it's, it's behind all the set pieces. And I'm telling you, like, like it's huge. Like, it, it, it's <laughs> probably, um, I, I, I don't even know, but... Uh, anyone who has been on Full House or Fuller House, they they chew a piece of gum, they put it on the wall, and then they sign their name 
on the very uh, like 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 what like right right under the piece of gum, so we know which piece of gum was theirs. <laughs> uh, so we, we they've been doing that since like 1987, which I thought was, was really funny. So we have everyone from Full House. We have like the Beach Boys. We got New Kids on the Block, and yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> I feel like if yeah yeah yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Mm. So what can fans expect to see from Jackson on season four? So um, I feel like Jackson. He's really gotten a mind of his own. Uh, he, he's definitely matured. I feel like um, in, in the other seasons, he was he was not the sharpest tool in the shed. Now, <laughs> now, now he's kind of uh, he's grown into um, a very a very uh, mature person. Like 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 he's finding his way. He's becoming more of like a normal kid. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's a lot more uh, a lot more drama, a lot more romantic. Involvement with yeah. Jackson. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, a lot, a, a lot more, uh, a lot, a lot bigger story arc for Jackson, I think. Yeah. So how are you similar and different to Jackson? Honestly, I, I'm very similar to Jackson in a lot of ways. Uh, I feel like Jackson is just <laughs> he's kind of like 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 a heightened version of me. Mm-hmm. Um, I. I'm very clumsy. I think I, I would, I would say that Jackson, in, in his entirety, like, like just his vibe, you know, being like a goofball. I'm very much like, like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's awesome. Oh, and and, and how, how I'm different from Jackson, I am. Um, hmm. I'm different in in the way where I I handle things a bit differently in in real life. I. I feel like Jackson, he just kind of does things on, like, a whim. He doesn't really think about yeah. it too much. But I'm, I'm very methodical, and I, I, I plan things out. That's but, always like good. I said, just the whole, you know, spirit of Jackson I, I embody, I think. For sure. Are you working on anything else you can share with us at the moment? Hmm. I, uh, I'm not really working on, like, like any specific projects. But uh, well, one thing I, I, I've been doing for quite some time now is I, uh, I, I'm into magic. And oh, so cool. I, I, I post I post about that frequently. Um, I'm probably going to be doing some some shows sometime soon, which would be a lot of fun. I'm also uh, auditioning to be in this uh, this this really famous club. I I, I don't know if you know what it's, uh, what what it is. It's called the Magic Castle, and it's here in California. Oh, I've heard of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the Magic Castle is basically uh, a, a very private club for magicians, and it, it, it's very hard to get in. So if you get in. You know, you can do shows whenever you want. You, you meet a lot of really great magicians. So that, that's kind of what I'm banking on here that's, pretty soon. Yeah, that's super cool. Will Jackson be doing any magic in season four? You know, I, I pitched it, and they said that's not the direction they wanted to go in. But they, uh, they did make a few uh, references to it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, because um, one of the jokes they made was, uh, you know, obviously, like, you know, me being clumsy. Uh, I was I was trying out for this one thing. I'm not gonna like say what it is, but I was saying like, oh well, like why can't I try out for it? Like it's not it's not like I'm gonna like break my thumb doing <laughs> close up magic. <laughs> I, <laughs> apparently, I did break up. I, I, I did break my thumb doing close up magic in the show <laughs> at one point in my life. So oh I my that goodness! Was funny. Yeah. So what's like? What are your favorite tricks to perform? What kind of magic do you do? Uh, I, I do a lot of card magic. Um, I, I'm very into rope magic, and uh, I just recently got into uh, ring magic, actually. I, I, I've gotten very good at ring magic, I, I think. That's super awesome. And are yeah. you, do you have any social media accounts you can just, like, share with me or just tell your fans? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, well, my, my Twitter is um, Michael Campion with, uh, with, with two N's. And my normal Instagram is just, you know, Michael Campion. No no fancy spelling. It's just Michael Campion. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for your time. It was great speaking with you. Yes, of course. Thank you so much.